Hi everyone, it's Richard from Inclusive Driving and in this series of videos we're going to talk about learning to drive with a physical disability. Cars these days can be adapted in many ways to suit various disabilities, they can be quite personalised. Um, my car is adapted in such a way that it will cater for the needs of most people who have a physical disability. I think it's impractical to have a car that will suit absolutely everybody, um, but my car will suit most people with a physical disability. To drive this car you need two limbs, one of which must be an upper limb. So you can drive it with one arm and either leg, so that could be left arm or right arm and left leg or right leg. Or you can drive it with two arms, so left arm holding the steering control as I am now and right arm controlling the accelerator and the brake with this lever by my right leg. In the first video we're going to focus on using a steering ball and using the hand control to control the accelerator and the brake. In this first video we're going to look at using the push-pull hand control. This is a lever by the right knee which can operate the accelerator or the brake. It's linked mechanically to the pedals. In some cars this could be linked electronically. But the principle is that you pull the control towards you to operate the accelerator and you push the control away from you to operate the brake. A good way to hold this, if you're able to, is to have your wrist supported on your right knee. Now we want to be careful that we don't try and operate this from the shoulder. It's very tempting to grab hold of this very tightly and use the shoulder muscles to move the control backwards and forwards. That doesn't give you very fine control. And if you think about how you would drive if you were using your legs and feet for the accelerator pedal, most of the movement would come from your ankle. A tiny bit would come from the knee, but that's only because of the muscle connecting the ankle and the knee. So the actual movement is with your ankle. So the equivalent of that is to use either the wrist or even easier is to use the fingertips. So we can hold the control in such a way that we have fingers behind it to pull the accelerator. And then for normal braking, we can simply use the thumb. Note how I don't have fingers and thumb on there at the same time. So I'm not doing this sort of movement. I'm just balancing my knuckles here on my knee and using fingers to pull and thumb to push. Let's have a look at how that works in an automatic car. So we'd normally put our foot on the brake, so thumb on the brake in this case. Select drive. Because one of my hands is now occupied controlling the speed of the car, I need to use a steering ball on the steering wheel so that I can now safely steer with just one hand. We'll talk about the steering ball in a separate video. So for this video we're concentrating on the push-pull hand control. 
So when I've checked it's safe to go, I can use the switch on top of the hand control to signal right, use a little bit of creep from the car and then pull the control to accelerate. I can then ease off just by relaxing my fingers to control the speed quite accurately. And then when I'm ready to stop, I can use the push-pull hand control switch to signal and gentle pressure from the thumb to brake. Now that I've got control of the speed, I've stopped the car, I can put the car back into park and cancel my signal. Let's run through that again. So thumb on the brake. Select drive to drive forwards. Signal right using the pin switch. And just pull with the three fingers. And when I'm ready to slow down, I can ease off just by relaxing my fingers. And use the thumb control the brake. There are several ways to help this channel. Like this video so that it gets shown to other people. Share it with your friends on social media to make sure that they see it. And most of all, subscribe to the channel to show your ongoing support and help me keep creating new content. I want to talk a little bit more about how we hold this. We've said we use fingertips and thumb. If we wanted to do more harsh braking for example in an emergency stop we do want to make sure that our thumb doesn't slip off the brake like that this is very high friction rubber coated it's very unlikely that your thumb would would slip off but a technique we could use is to use the hook of the hand between the thumb and the index finger and simply slide into that motion. So imagine we're accelerating, we're driving, we need to do an emergency stop, we can slide the thumb and use the hook of our thumb and index finger to maximise contact with the brake and make sure that we don't slip off. Another reason that we keep the thumb out of the way when we're accelerating is because if we grip like this my knuckle here will hit the steering wheel now that will restrict the amount of speed that I can get up to it will vary a car by car in this car if my thumb is in the way it will only let me get to about 45 miles an hour if I was on a motorway wanting to do 60 or 70 it wouldn't I would have to move my thumb out of the way so that I can pull the accelerator closer towards the steering wheel. So let's do some general driving. Fingertips to accelerate. The pin switch for the indicators does not self-cancel, so we need to cancel it after we've either moved off or done a left or right turn. Whenever our signal is finished with, we will cancel it. Just relax my fingers to keep a steady speed now. a little bit more on my fingers to get me up that slight hill. Now I'm 
relaxing them because I'm going slightly over the 20 limit. I'll be turning left at the traffic lights. I can use either my thumb or an index finger or even the side of my index finger to signal. A little bit of thumb braking, more thumb braking because of the red traffic light. From here I can either keep my thumb on the brake or I can select neutral and apply the parking brake. And then when I'm ready to move, I simply select drive and pull on the accelerator with my fingers. You may find that to have this position where you can balance your right wrist on your knee you may need a pillow or a cushion or something to raise your hand or if you're able to stretch your leg forward so that your knee gets lower that's another option thumb on the brake and gear into drive use all precautions on my left I'm just going to wait for so I keep my thumb on the brake hey that car's turned into a parking bay squeeze from the fingers give my thumb to signal right give a little bit of acceleration cancel the signal I'm going to turn right at the roundabout so use my thumb to operate the indicator relax my fingers to get some engine braking and use my thumb to slow. Cancel the signal and another little squeeze to accelerate. One of the disadvantages of this setup is that my left hand doesn't have access to any controls apart from steering and my right hand doesn't have any convenient access to any controls other than left and right indicators. So things like headlights and windscreen wipers require either taking my hand off the steering wheel which is not good or taking my hand off the accelerator which isn't brilliant you can possibly see on the video that I really need to give the windscreen a bit of a wash and that's just not practical while I'm using these hand controls to wash and clean the front window I really have to wait until I've got a safe opportunity to release the accelerator and bear in mind I'll also be taking my hand away from the brake so I've got to be very selective when I do that
them to reduce my speed. Having my fingers ready to take over if it's clear to carry on. Cancel the signal. While I'm waiting, I can either keep my thumb on the brake or I can select neutral and apply the parking brake and relax my hand for a little bit. When I'm ready to move, I'll place the gear selector in drive, pull on the accelerator and the parking brake in this car will come off automatically. Fingers taking over just to creep up the hill. And cancel my signal with my thumb. And for reversing, we make use of the creep of the car in reverse gear and control our speed just with the thumb. 